I've polished all of the frets. They're all nice and shiny again. Now I'm going to pull the tape off and clean it up and then work on the nut and the saddle. So this shouldn't be too hard of a job, but sometimes it is. So I'm going to use paper towel and some mineral spirits, which is paint thinner or like paint thinner, to clean these off. And this this will get the glue of the of the masking tape off pretty easily. I want to oil the fretboard again anyway before I restring it. And that'll put a nice luster on it. So nice. My newly flattened fretboard. I should be able to lay my straight edge across there and See that it touches every single fret. There's my fall off right there. So notice that, and that's okay. It's good. All of these from 14 up. Okay, now we're worried about setting the string height. <clears throat> it wants to sit just slightly above the strings, or above the frets here. So first we have to determine how high that fret is. I've got a set of feeler gauges, and I find the easiest way to handle this is just to un disassemble this set. After you're done with it, will you please reassemble this so they don't get loose? Okay, now take a look. These feeler gauges have numbers on them, 0 0.032, 0 0.026, 28, 24, 22, 180, 16, 134, let's see, that'll go right there. I'm putting them in order so that it makes it easier on me, and 40 there. So I'm going to put these together and try to decide the height of that fret. So the way I'm doing it, I, I, I'm using this action gauge, but it's just a straight edge. And I bring it over the top and I can hear it drop, click. That means that it's too high. So let's drop it down to a 0.34. Now it's just slightly too low. So it's somewhere between 340 and 0.40. So let's go like 38, 0.38. And to get that, I'm going to need to do a combination. This would be 0 0.038. So I've got a combination 0 0.022 and 0 0.016 totaling 0 0.038 together. So let's try that. That seems about right. 
right in the center. Now it might be slightly different on the two ends, so I'm checking those. Right there it looks good. And right there I feel like I'm still a little bit low, though really close. So I'm going to use that as my height for that first fret. Now I'm going to add 0 0.018. Now this can range from 0 0.01 all the way to 0 0.02 to add the distance between the fret and the strings. So I'm going to use a 0 0.018 Right like that. We've got a little device that's a holder of this. And it slides underneath, makes makes this a little bit more simple. curve on it. Make sure it sits flat all the way across. But you can bow it too much and give it a, a little bump in the center, which is not what I want to do. Okay. Now I'm going to take my files, my slot files, slotting files, and I've got my one, two, three, four, five, and six. And I file it down until I hit the feeler gauge. Oh, there I go. Now I'm filing at a slight angle. And I can do it flat, but eventually I'm going to need to go down a little bit like this. feeler gauge and now I'm done. So I want the string to come up and go in the slot and then to leave from right there, the front. If, I, if my slot is flat, it may leave from back here and when the string vibrates it could hit on the front of the nut, which I don't want. So it's coming up at an angle and then leaving from the very tip here. I say very tip, but we want to knock off the front of it. This bone is a little bit brittle, but so it should be a, a slight round on the front, but just behind that is where it wants to leave. Okay, so now my number two. Sloping back slightly. contact with the feeler gauge. That's done. Got it. And then last, at number six. Good. Even took a little too much off the feeler gauge, went a little too far. Take a look here at my slot. I'm going to put something behind there so you can see. See if you can see those slots. They're pretty deep. That's deeper than it should be. And I'm going to need to do some work uh, sanding this nut down so that there's only about half the diameter of the string protruding from the nut. 
So I'm going to be sanding on top of it and then a back slope a little bit. But I want to check and make sure my strings are, are looking good. So I'm going to put my first string and my sixth string on. Here I'm putting it into the slot, reaching in, make sure the ball of that string is in the right spot. Okay, that's good enough. So what I'm looking at is the distance between the bottom of the string and the top of the fret. And it wants to be about 20 thousandths. So This action gauge has, in fact, come around this side, and I think you'll be able to see it a little bit easier. There's 10 thousandths, 20, 30, 40. So I wanna be between these two, and I'm kinda of shooting for 20. So I'm looking that the distance between the fret, top of the fret, bottom of the string is this much from the bottom of there to that line. And hard to see, it's a little bit dark. But I'm pretty happy with the way that looks. I could maybe even go slightly closer. I'm gonna look at it on the one string And I think that looks really good. It's just about where I want it. Okay, so that's, uh, that looks really good where the nut's gonna go. So I still have to dress the nut a little bit, but the string height is really nice right there. Right? Just high enough so that it's really easy to press. Now here, 12th and 14th, is, and let's go from the 14th fret here. This wants to be about an eighth of an inch distance from the top of the fret to the string. And you can see that that is way low. On my action gauge, that should be 0.120. That's where this one should be. And you can see that this one is almost as close as where it was up on the nut. So with it being so low, what that's gonna mean is as I pluck it, it's going to, so I, I fret it up here, and that's got terrible buzz because it's so close to that. It's not allowing it to vibrate. So to solve that problem, we have to bring the saddle up. And in this case, it could be that the saddle was uh, sanded too far down, but we just are gonna put some spacers underneath that saddle. And let's determine how much by checking my gauge. And that's nearly, I would say, point one zero, right? That's almost an eighth of an inch that it has to come up. That's a lot of material to put under that nut. I think what I'd rather do is just replace, replace the saddle. Now in most cases, I would say, guitars that I check, the saddle is too, high it's not too low in this case it's too low but in most it's too high I've got to pull that saddle out and I'm gonna grab it with some pliers um, you want to buffer it though with a cloth or paper towel or something so that you don't mar the saddle the saddle never gets glued in it's always just a friction fit okay so 
In this case, I've got to put a spacer underneath it and this on top, or replace the saddle so that it's a little bit taller by almost an eighth of an inch. If you remove material, take your pencil and just draw a line how much you need to remove. And then with a sanding block, you'll take off the amount off the bottom. So the top of the saddle should remain the same arc as is the top of the fretboard. And it should also have a back slope on it, like this. So the string comes up out of the saddle, hits almost to the front, the front of the saddle should have a slight rounding, but just beyond that is where it should leave to go up to the nut. Okay, I've kind of remade the saddle. You can see that this one's quite a bit higher. I need about an eighth and that's still not giving me enough. So I've also made myself a couple of spacers that I'm going to slide underneath. And this is just made from a piece of maple veneer that I cut out with an X-Acto knife. And I'm going to slide those underneath the saddle. And then saddle on top. Let's try it again. Okay, so now let's check our string height. And we want to be about 0.12 right here at the 14th fret. And I can see that I'm, I'm close, not, not quite that high. It's still a little low. And some, some guitarists prefer a lower. And it's okay to have a lower action right here as long as you're not getting any buzz. Right before it was buzzing like crazy. So let's try it now. To get any higher, we're gonna to have to put more spacers underneath it, which we can do. But let's see if we, if we maybe don't need to. So what I'm doing is fretting it on the first fret, plucking and listening for buzz. Move your way up the fretboard. No buzz. Open. Sometimes you can get buzz on the nut also if it's not, if it's not, uh, the slot's not going at the right angle. So open, sounds good. First fret. I think we should leave it right there. Now I got quite a bit of material here to remove, so I'm going to start with probably this 150 sanding block. Actually, this is a 120 sanding block. It's going to be higher here than it is there just by the fact that the string is bigger here, hot, bigger diameter where it's teeny right there. So it's actually going to slope down. Yeah, right there is where I want it. Okay, so that's with 120. <clears throat> Now I've got a little teeny sanding block here to give me a little bit more dexterity in close. So I'm and now I want to round it over just a little bit, and I think I'm going to pull off the, the truss rod cover so that I don't hit it accidentally. <clears throat> I just want it gently coming over.
And I think I'll clean up the edges so they're not sharp also. Okay, I'm gonna shift to some 220 grit paper. Hundred now. Six hundred. String it up. All right, I've got all the strings on now. And they're not tuned yet, but they're tight enough that I can check it for buzz. So I'm gonna go through each one. All right, buzz happens when you fret it in one spot and the vibrating string strikes the fret somewhere else down the row. Usually it's the one right after it. So very clear sound. That means it's not hitting, even with that vibration, it's not hitting any of those frets. So now fifth string open. job it'll all sound great like this. So what do you do if you have fret buzz? Right, make sure you're fretting it right behind the fret like not up here somewhere. So that's what fret buzz sounds like. But it's because of where I'm fretting it right you got to get right up on it. That's clear. That's good. So make sure you're that's, that's buzz. That's how I produce buzz. Right, so get right up on that fret. Make sure it sounds clean. Good. Open. 